What's happening? It's Shane here. So this is another highly requested video. Today we're going to be doing the technology degree tier list. And I have to admit, doing research on this particular tier list was the most difficult out of all of them that I've made this month. You guys aren't aware, I'm doing the 30-day challenge this month, so I'm uploading a video every single day. It's been super difficult to do this. I've been spending way too much time doing it. Really early right now, drinking my coffee because I got a lot of work to do today. So it was difficult to make this tier list because there's so many random technology related degrees out there and they're all somewhat similar there's tiny little differences between them but i did spend a ton of time researching that and if you appreciate it go ahead and give me a like another thing i'd just like to mention really quickly is i noticed that only about 10 percent of you guys were subscribed so please go ahead uh, hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you haven't already in order to see more videos like this where i help you guys to choose what career paths and degrees and in general, just success tips. Or Susie sits in a shoe shine shop where she shits, where she sits. <laughs> she sh so if you haven't done it already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, I'm gonna make this video really quick. And a lot of my other videos, I go over the statistics and stuff, but this one, I'm just gonna make it super quick, try to make it as short as possible. So let me know if you like this kind of video more. Some people like it when I go over the statistics more, and some people like it when I just give them my opinion. Right off the bat, let's get this one out of the way. Computer science, this one is definitely S tier. This might be the best degree that you can get objectively out of all the degrees. I've gone over this one in other videos. It's fantastic, especially at this time in history that we're at right now. This is a highly coveted skill set. Nothing more to say on that one, it's S tier. Next one on the list is going to be computer information systems. And this one is basically just focused on the practical applications of technology that businesses need. And it's a really good one because you're combining technology skills with business skills. And this one is great it's one of the best on the list in fact i almost put it into s tier but when it comes to the stats some of the other ones are just a little bit better and so for that reason this one goes in a tier next one on the list is going to be information technology and this is basically the study of systems when it comes to storing retrieving and sending information i think everyone knows what it guys are they basically just take care of all the practical day-to-day -day technology needs of a business and there's honestly a ton of different degrees that are somewhat related to it so i decided to just group them all together Together. This one is getting a little bit saturated just because of all the hype. Don't get me wrong, it's still a good degree. I know several people who graduated with an IT degree and they're super happy with it. But when you compare it to other technology degrees, which generally are just really good, this one is gonna go into C tier. Now, one that's very closely related to IT is gonna be information technology management. So this combines the information technology skill set with more of a leadership focus. Obviously, companies love people that have that leadership or that management mindset. And so for that reason, Reason, IT management is going to be better than IT. This one is going to go into A tier. Next one on the list is going to be cybersecurity, and this one was one of the hardest for me to rank. I can see this one becoming huge, and maybe I do another one like a year from now. The stats might be S tier, but right now, from what I've done, the research that I've done, this one is going to go into B tier. Next one on the list is going to be information security and assurance. This one is kind of similar to cybersecurity. There's a lot of similarities there, and you'll notice this over and over again when you're researching technology degrees where it sounds like they do the exact same thing when you read the job descriptions. But there are subtle little differences in there and that's why it's so important for you to do your research and actually talk to people who are doing these careers if you're really interested in them. But anyways, the stats on this one are slightly better than cybersecurity and so for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into A tier. Next one on the list is going to be information science. And this is a very interesting because it kind of combines the technical aspect of computer science with with some of the more social or human aspects of you know information in general so it's almost the study of how societies and human beings interact with information or in layman's terms how humans interact with the digital world it's very similar to data science but it has a little bit less of a focus on business and you can see how this one would be extremely useful especially in this modern world i think this one would combine really well with a business degree and overall the stats are pretty good i'll go ahead and put this one into b tier as well next one on the list is going to be computer computer graphics technology. And this basically combines, you know, computer skills with more of a design element. You basically use your creative skills in order to communicate an idea visually. Right, now this one could prepare you for a bunch of different careers. You could go into industry, advertising, game development, all kinds of different sort of things, maybe education or entertainment. So if you're interested in the arts, but you also want to be a little bit more practical and kind of be with the times a little bit, this one might be a good one for you to look into. However, if we're going 
going to compare them to the other technology degrees. I have to be fair and honest here. The statistics are not as good. And so for that reason, this one is going to go into D tier. Next one on the list is going to be telecommunications. Now this one is technically a BA or a Bachelor of Arts. However, it does have an emphasis on technology. And this might be a good one for you to look into if you want to go into writing, marketing, promotions, journalism, and some other careers like that. So basically this one kind of combines skills that you learn in communications with technology. Now this is an industry that's going to be huge in the future, but I have to be fair again, the statistics on this one are not the best. And so for that reason, this one is going to go into C tier. Network administration is going to be next on the list. And basically this is where you make sure that a company's uh, computers, software programs, and their security functions run smoothly without any hiccup. It's actually pretty similar to an IT degree. And in fact, you will be competing for a lot of the same jobs. The problem is, is the statistics just aren't nearly as good as an IT degree. And IT graduates will basically know how to do everything that you do. And so for that reason, this one is going to go into F tier. Let me know what you guys think below. Check out my other videos right here. Make sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the little notification bell, and all that jazz.